I'm Jessie Hurley and today I want to show you how easy it is to use your Viva Decor Inca Golds to watercolor your favorite images for your cards and scrapbook pages. Today we're going to be using our Lava Red, our Old Gold and our Green Yellow Inca Golds as well as our Elizabeth Crafts Peel Off Outline Stickers, our Sakura Water Brush, and 140 pound watercolor paper. And it's the 140 pound paper that's important because it will allow the Inca Golds to blend easily. So I'm going to start with my green yellow and I'm just going to put my brush directly into the paint and start where I want the image to be darkest because I'm going to pull out the color. The water being in the brush will automatically help with the shading because as I come across the leaf here, you will see that I'm much darker where I began than where I'm finishing off. I'm gonna pick up a little bit more color and I'm coloring right over top of the outline sticker itself. It doesn't matter if I go outside the lines. You should always color a little outside your lines in your own life anyways. And as I go just getting an even layer. I'm also not worrying too much about adding dimension because I can do that afterwards in layers. Okay, so once I have my layer, I'm just gonna get my water flowing on my brush a bit better. So I can go in where I would like it to be darkest and just add, add that extra dimension into the leaves. Now when I get into the petal, I'm going to pick up some of the red Inca gold, add that to the flower, and I'm coloring fairly quickly because again, I just want an even layer as a base so I can add the dimension in after. Uh, because the card I've made, I'm cutting out my water lily. I'm not too concerned if I go outside the lines. If you are concerned, go a little slower with your painting. Once I have that final layer, again, I can go in with my Inca Gold and add some deeper dimension amongst the petals. And you may have noticed in the original flower that my tips have a little bit of gold shine to them. And how I did that is cleaning my brush off to get all the color off and going into my old gold and just adding some of that color into the tips of my water lily. Once I have the gold in the tips there, I can go in and just blend that color in by smushing it, the technical term, smush that color in Add a little extra gold. Use some red to soften it until you have the image how you like. Now, in the various incarnations of this video, we've had to pull off our peel off sticker and look what's left behind because that's just as pretty in that watercoloring effect without the outline sticker in it. But as you can see, it's very easy to use your Inca Golds to create watercolored images for your cards and scrapbook pages.